Unraveling the phrase, trap is set. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating phrase. Trap is set. This phrase is not only common in everyday English but also rich in meaning and usage. So, let's explore what it means, how it's used, and some examples to help you understand it better. The phrase, trap is set, originates from the literal action of setting a trap, typically for catching animals. In this context, a trap is a device or setup designed to catch someone or something, and when it is set, it is ready to be used. However, in everyday English, this phrase is often used metaphorically. It means that a plan or scheme has been arranged with the intention of catching someone off guard or putting them in a difficult situation. It implies preparation and anticipation for something to happen, usually something deceptive or harmful. Let's look at some examples to understand how trap is set is used in different contexts. 1. In literature or movies, as the detective entered the room, he realized the trap was set by the criminal. Here, it means a literal or figurative trap planned to deceive or capture someone. 2. In business or politics. The opposition claimed that the new policy was a trap set by the government to mislead the public. In this case, it suggests a strategy or policy designed to trick or entrap others. 3. In everyday conversation. Be careful with those tricky questions during the interview. It might be a trap set to test your reaction. This implies a situation arranged to test or challenge someone, often in a deceptive way. Understanding the nuances of trap is set can enhance your comprehension and usage of the phrase. It often carries a negative connotation, suggesting deceit, danger, or trickery. Related expressions include laying a trap, the act of preparing a trap, fall into a trap, to get caught or deceived by a trap, spring a trap, to activate or reveal a trap. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, trap is set. It's a vivid expression that you might encounter in various contexts, from literature to daily conversation. Remember, language is not just about words but also the ideas and images they convey. Keep learning and exploring, and you'll find English full of fascinating expressions like this one. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.